Oba hin bebre ano opoku are no ma wa no Asante kwatoko no no So the total amount spent was $317,000. She communicated with me and I communicate with her every single day. Uh, what I wasn't aware of was how sophisticated this new type of scam was. They learn about you, understand who you are and and they become the perfect woman for you. Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the Unapologetic Negropian. In today's video, $317,000. That is an incredible amount of money to spend on the woman that you love. It's an even larger amount of money to spend on a woman that you have never met before. I want you to think for one moment what you could do with 300 and actually we're going to put the right amount out. It's $343,000 that this gentleman spent altogether. $343,000. I want you to think for a moment what you could do with $343,000. In fact, I know I normally tell you to do this towards the end of the video, but I'm going to ask you to do this now. Tell me what you could do with $343,000 in the comments section below. Let me know what you would do with that type of money. The internet has done a lot to revolutionize the way we are able to talk and communicate with people all around the world. It's also made it much easier for us to find our ideal partner. There are now thousands of dating websites which host hundreds of thousands of men and women who are eagerly trying to find their next loved one. Anthony Frazier is an African-American man who was doing just that. He was looking for his perfect partner. He had been married before. His daughter had now left for university. She went to a prestigious school in California, UCLA. He was doing well for himself. But he was single, he was lonely. He wanted to find the perfect partner. And so he started going on dating websites. Today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the who's, the what's, the where's, the why's, the how's. How? We're gonna ask ourselves how this woman has managed to defraud many African-American men of millions of American dollars. But first, like always, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification and please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon, link in the description. I'm also going to ask you to please follow the Oversight YouTube channel, the channel that is there to help you to invest on the African continent, both safely and securely, link also in the description. So the protagonist for today's video, you might actually even call him an antagonist. Some of you may call him an antagonist because of the way he chooses to date. So before I start, I want to say, please guys, give this guy a bit of courtesy, okay? There was a whole host of other African-American men who also had the same problem with the same woman. This guy has opened up to try and help other men, other African-American men, to make sure that they don't end up in the same situation that he did. I think it's easy for us to just turn around and say, well, you should have just stuck with your own. But the truth of the matter is that if we are approached by a beautiful woman, and I don't care who you are, if you're a man and you have a beautiful woman come to you and offer you this, offer you that, the vast majority of single men are going to accept the offer no matter what her race or creed or background is. We're going to call him the protagonist. And the protagonist's name is Anthony Frazier. Anthony Frazier is an African-American man from Southern California. He was all alone, newly divorced. He wanted to find his next partner. Anthony Frazier joined a website. It was a dating website called Valentina. Now, the women on this website are from Eastern Europe. And so he was specifically looking, I'm guessing, for a European woman. So he was contacted by one of these women. And that woman was Ekaterina Enkanova. Yes, the Ekaterina Enkanova, the IG model. Over a million followers on Instagram. Everybody knows her. This woman caught his eye. And it's quite easy to see why. Tall, slim, 
Long blonde hair, blue eyes, she stuck out a mile and he couldn't believe it when she started to speak to him. So clearly Anthony Frazier started hitting it off with this woman, they started talking. We started talking from there. Uh, conversation started to progress. We spent more and more time together and the relationship started going really well. She had to contact him through Valentina. They make their money through the contact that both of these two parties have, okay? So you don't pay for a subscription to this website. You actually go on the website and if you want to contact the woman, then you have to go through the website. And once you start contacting her, for every bit of contact that you have with her, you get charged. And it's not a lot of money. 50 euro cent, a euro sometimes. It's not a lot of money, but it can build up. And how does it build up? Well, through talking more and more and more. So let's take a listen to what Anthony Frazier had to say. How did it all start? How did she manage to get to the point in which she was starting to take this money from him? Take a listen to this. Actually, I was contacted by a young lady. Her name was Ekaterina Inokaeva. She's a Russian model that's really popular on the internet. Got like a million followers. Listen. I've been around for quite some time now and I've dated women all over this world and I'm going to tell you this now. I would never date a woman because of her looks. I just wouldn't. There's no point. I'm very lucky because when I met my wife, she sort of toned down her pictures and she just looked sort of normal. I didn't really, you know, I could see she had a beautiful smile, but, you know, apart from that, I knew she had a beautiful heart. I met her through a mutual friend and we hit it off very well. I loved what she was talking about. I loved that she was interested in the arts and science and in history and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, wow, she's kind of attractive and she's very interesting. Guys, you know, it doesn't matter how pretty they are, trust me, someone somewhere is tired of them. So the fact that this guy's seen these pictures of Ekaterina Enkanova and has leapt on her, you know, it tells me one thing. It tells me that, you know, Men sometimes are easy to please. Clearly, this man had no idea what was coming. So she was talking to this guy all the time. She was always on the phone, almost as if it was a second job. She's a model, that's her profession. So her main job is to be a model, but to be able to spend so much time on the phone, clearly you must have a lot of time to yourself. Well, I would say that I felt I was in love with her about four months into it. Uh, everything was going extremely well. In love with her, I don't know. I think a lot of people use that word and don't quite understand it. Would you be in love with her if she was in a car accident, she lost both her legs and both her arms? Would you still be in love with her? Because that's what love truly is. It's absolute selfless altruism. And if you can't see yourself taking care of a hospitalized Ekaterina Enkanova, you know, who is brain dead, but you are in love with her and you will stand by her side from this day on till the end of time, then you're not in love with her. So it's likely that what he is feeling is lust and not love. From the moment she first wrote to me on May 5th, she communicated with me and I communicate with her every single day. No less, I mean, the first couple of weeks, it was maybe an hour or two a day, but after the first month, never less than 10 hours a day, every day. 10 hours a day. Oh, come on. I mean, who has 10 hours out of their day to talk on the phone to anyone? I don't understand how this man could feel like 10 hours a day is even sustainable. I'm going to be real with you guys. This scam is not that sophisticated. She knows what she's doing. And we're going to go into the reasons why she's preying, particularly on African-American men like Kevin Samuels. And she knows that they are high value men all strewn across the United States of America. And so, yeah, why not? Some of the money was spent on stickers and photos. So, you know, they have these little emojis. They call them stickers. They're basically they're just emojis that you can purchase on the site. And what, like a kiss emoji or a bottle of a, uh, like an elixir with, the, with love in it. Or all these little emojis in there like say thank you or I love you or anything like that. Those are all a dollar each. 
uh, to send a photo is going to be two dollars and to write a letter on the website just leave a letter for the young lady is going to cost you five dollars it wasn't just toys iphones and rings no it was things like emojis uh, when you are on this site and you're communicating with this woman and it's in real time when you're communicating with them you send them a photograph it costs two dollars if you send them something like uh, a heart emoji it costs 50 cents what's happening is that she's asking him to send him photographs send me a photograph of yourself right now yeah oh where do you live send me a photograph of that i would like to see that send me a photograph speaking to somebody 10 hours a day and this person's constantly asking you to send you photographs of yourself send you photographs of your house where you work of the city where you're going to live though they all add up so he ended up sending her hundreds of photographs every single day and of course he would also ask her for photographs and she would be like fine i'll send you 500 photographs he started sending him thousands of photographs asking for hundreds of kisses or hundreds of photos at a time I'm telling you to give them a kiss so you send them a kiss sticker oh tell me how much you love me you send them an i love you sticker uh, send me your photo. Send me 10 photos. Send me 50 photos. I want to see all your photos of your house. Can you sh show me photos of your city? Uh, go to the beach and take photos of everything at the beach. And by the end of the day, you've sent 400 photos. Then, of course, she'll start sending you photos, which is, of course, is $2 for each photo that it sent you. It started off with mostly photos, and I ended up spending, like, in the month of July, I spent a little over $20,000 on this website just with chat gifts and sending photos he spent twenty thousand dollars talking to this woman twenty thousand dollars just to chat to her it's crazy because if you got twenty thousand dollars mean, what are you going to do with that i mean if you really like a woman you're going to jump on a plane aren't you i could easily spend it's a thousand dollars to catch a flight from from new york well, sorry from los angeles over to uh, Kiev or to St. Petersburg or wherever she lives it's only going to cost you a thousand dollars so why wouldn't you have just spent the money and done that it's it just sounds absurd to me so this woman that you're in love with does not exist so to wake up to that reality you're devastated you don't you don't even want to live right so you're in a situation where you it, every day is just dreadful so uh I was at a point where I was just in total depression. You don't want to wake up. Life has no meaning. And it's embarrassing, right? You're just in this funk where you're just going through the motions every day. And I remember, you know, my routine was getting to the computer, you know, hey, how are you doing? She was there waiting on you. And you go there and she's not there. I'm now actually starting to feel like this man was caught up to the point in which it made him sick. Really, I think that he was obsessed with this woman. Here is a beautiful IG model, okay? And I've got to admit, she is beautiful. Um, not my cup of tea, you know? I like them a little more rounded than her. She's a bit, she's a bit too skinny, isn't she, for me? I mean, the, and I'm not putting down her, her body. You know, I'm not body shaming. I'm just saying, for me, she's... A bit on the thin side. This is another reason why I can't understand why she would go after African American men. Because African American men generally tend to like more Reuben vows, you know, more more um, voluptuous women, you know, women who have the curves and stuff. Yeah, the fact that she was able to focus primarily on African American men and live the life of her dreams by doing so, I mean, that's even more sickening. Even wrote the website, told them about my suspicions, and they would you know, calm me down with these simple explanations. And you would say, you know, of course that's what it is, because why would she risk everything? She's a model. She's got a great career. You can go on Instagram and see all these things that she's doing. There's no way she would risk all that for a petty scam. He is completely oblivious to the situation that he is in. The reality is this. She was never in danger. She was never risking anything she knew this from the get-go 
right? She is still there. You can go on her Instagram right now. You can see her, you can follow her, you can DM her right now. She doesn't have to hide. She has gotten away scot-free. And what he doesn't understand is that it wasn't just her doing this. She had a whole host of people that were backing her up, helping her out. It's not a petty scam. Hundreds of thousands of dollars off him alone, okay? And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There is millions, millions of dollars that she has defrauded men, African-American men, in the exact same way. I got that report from the detective. You know, I was devastated. You know, you, you know, I would tell you the hardest part for me was waking up every morning knowing that I had another 10 to 12 hours of absolute torture and agony to go through. Okay, uh, you got, so for the last 10 months, 10 to 12 hours a day minimum was spent with this young lady. You know, uh, all your friends have gone. So when you spend 10 to 12 of your waking hours a day, that's your entire life. You know, you've sent her every gift you can think of. And we had named our children. You know, she would say, well, what, what are we gonna name our children? Talk about tattoos, where are we gonna live? You know, I had sold my house and you know, we were picking out houses virtually together. So all these memories you have in your head, right, are a fantasy. It's like being in love with Cinderella. You know, this person does not exist. So even though Ikatanin Ino Kaeva is somewhere real in the world, it was just a concoction of all these different multiple personalities that had created this false facade with her as the figurehead. Are African American men simps? Is America the largest place for simp activity? So she didn't speak to him on the phone. Come on guys, she didn't speak to him on the phone. She was just texting and sometimes she would send video messages to him. This is part of what scammers do. Scammers do this all the time. They use the emotional sale. And what she did was something called futuring, all right? Futuring, like giving people a vision. So she was telling him, oh, what type of dress am I gonna wear to the wedding? How will you wear it? Where will we get married? How many children do you want? What am I going to do for work? I can't wait to meet you. And this is part of the emotional pull. She's scrambling his head, making sure that, hey, you know, I am real, I'm here, I'm real, and, and I do want to meet you. He never even questioned it until he started getting the high bills. And then when she, he started getting these high bills, she started sending him video messages. Hello, honey, Anthony. I'm waiting for your meeting. Hi, Anthony. I miss you so much. Wow. Corn on the cob. Want you to put yourself in his position. The men out there, okay? If you have a woman and she's absolutely drop dead gorgeous and she's speaking to you from another country, say Australia or the Philippines or something, and what are you going to do? We have the technology now to speak in real time via video, right? Every time he asked her to do this, she was busy. She couldn't do it. She couldn't get to the phone. He couldn't do it. He didn't even have her telephone number. The only way he could communicate with her is through this website. And this is how they kept making money from him. You would have thought that this guy would have thought, oh, but, but, wait a minute, she's a model. She's working all the time. She's too busy for, for me to go and see her. Well then, why is she on the phone 10 hours a day with me for? It's likely that this guy has very low self-esteem and they know, especially these pros, they know how to work a man with low self-esteem and to milk that man for every penny that he has. So this guy spent a little over $25,000 hunting this E. Katerina Enkanova down. That is also a lot of money, but this is how and why I believe this man has pretty deep pockets. I mean, the average man doesn't have access to $317,000. And the average man, if he loses that kind of money, he's not going to have an extra $25,000 to splurge on courts, lawyers, 
um, private investigators. I believe he works in the tech industry in California. He's done very well for himself, but the reality is this. $317,000, nah, man. Two grand a day this guy was spending communicating with this woman. Was she worth two grand a day? Take a look at her. Do you think she's worth two grand a day? Guys, I'm telling you this. If you like women like this, get on a flight. Fly to Kiev in the Ukraine. Those types of women grow on trees in the Ukraine. And she's living the life of Riley now. She's not even in St. Petersburg anymore. She now lives in Bali and in the Maldives. She's always taking photographs at Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. And she is living the life of her dreams. And she's doing that off the backs of African-American men. You take a look at her Instagram. Go right down, scroll right down to the bottom and take a look at where she's taking her photographs. Take a look at the quality of the photographs. You can see in the background that she's in her house. It's nothing special. The house is nothing special, but she's there. And as you progress, as you continue going up and up and up and up, you will see that her house gets nice. You'll see her traveling to the most exotic locations. She's doing all of this using money that she has taken from African-American men. Now, we're gonna get back to this question. Why is she targeting African-American men? Now, I think she's targeting African-American men because they are a genre of men that not a lot of Russian women will go for. Uh, not in that particular way. Russian women love black men, okay? A lot of people won't understand that, but they do. They like men that don't look like them it's it's just one of those things so i think part of the reason why is that she genuinely has a like for african-american men and so it's easier for her to keep up this type of fraud by speaking to high value african-american men she can also put herself in a position where she is at the top of the pyramid because normally if these types of women are going after these Russian billionaires and millionaires, these guys will have a whole army of these types of women stroll across their yacht. And it's difficult to get in with these multi-millionaires and billionaires in Russia for that reason. Competition. There is just too much competition in Russia. So she's always going to struggle in places like Russia. Okay, she's always, she's all she's not going to go to Monaco and get picked up straight away because do you know what? In Monaco and in Dubai, I'm telling you, you are going to blend in by targeting African American men, by targeting the men that she likes anyway, that she feels comfortable in talking to. She is able to prolong that conversation like she did with this gentleman for almost 10 months. She is able to prolong it and talk to this guy talk to them for as long as she can and she can get more emotionally involved as well knowing in the back of her head that she's going to cut it off at some point in the future so i think that's partly the reason i think she knows that african-american men in general have money as well that african-americans are the wealthiest ethnicity in the entire diaspora so she knows that they have money they have uh, they are not afraid to spend their money our goal is simple. Uh, I want them shut down. Uh, that may seem like it's uh, a huge task, but the reason why these guys are in existence and they are so successful at it is because people just walk away. They let them get away with it. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm here in Korea for a reason. Uh, no matter how much time or the expense is involved, uh, I'm going to keep this one going. They will be brought to justice. Uh, now, whether that justice be jail time or fines or whatever, uh, I'm going to make sure that every avenue is exhausted. So if it's this or that, I'm going to make sure it's both. Wow, so this guy is not going to give up. He's going to go for it. And he clearly has the money to do so. He can easily throw tens of thousands of dollars at this woman. And he's probably got deep enough pockets to make sure that he brings her to justice. I doubt if he'll be able to get the money back. He, I don't think he's asking for the money back. I think he just wants to get her back. He wants his revenge because he was truly in love with this woman. And it's sad that he got to the point in which when she started not speaking to him anymore,
he didn't want to live anymore. You know, she cut him really bad. She, like I said before, he's not the only one. There are others. She has taken millions of dollars of African-American men because they have all come forward. They are too embarrassed to even speak about what has happened to them. So it's so sad that we are in a situation now where we have a group of men, a group of African-American men who have nowhere to turn. Control, guys. Control. Control yourself. Control your emotions. I always tell people, even if you're going in to buy a car or something, control your emotions. Don't just buy the car because it looks nice. Make sure that the mechanics of the car is good, that it will do the job, that it will take you to where you need to go efficiently. Don't get sold by your emotions. Oh, I want it. I just want it. Because it could end up being the worst decision that you've ever made in your entire life. I really hope that this man manages to get some revenge on this woman. He deserves his revenge. I think it's really evil what she did. I really hope that she ends up in court over this. They just work in a different way over there. And I don't think he realizes how corrupt these Eastern European countries can be. So guys, what do you think about that story? I mean, do any of you guys have any sympathy for this man? Do any of you guys think, that's really sad, $317,000. I really hope that, you know, I'm sorry for this man. Or, you know, or do you actually feel that he deserved to be treated that way? Because, hey, you should have stuck with your own spend that money inside your own community with your own people do any of you think that african-american men are simps let me know what you think i oh, know i'm trying to start things up here let me know what you think in the comment section below it'd be really good to hear your opinion on this so guys that's all i've got time for for today i'd like to thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i'd like to give an extra special thank you to my patrons and i'll see you in the next one until the next time please think twice Torah.